Um, I got news for you guys. It's never going back to normal again. <laughs> it's like when you do your first steroid cycle, people are like, how come I don't feel normal when I come off the stuff? I said, because normal for you now is the steroid cycle. So we're gonna, the world's going to be a different place. But um, as far as the guru course goes, um, I don't see myself giving one probably to the beginning of 2021. I think that's when things might calm down. Uh, I don't want to put my, I don't, I don't really care about myself. I don't want to put my family at risk, you know, so I, I can't really have that. I was thinking about doing something online, but I really am against it because I really like the personal interaction that you get when people are in person. So I'm thinking about what to do with the Guru course. As far as face masks, I think a face mask in the gym, I know that they're going to say you should wear face mask. I think it's a bad idea. I, I, and I say that with a lot of reticence and a, and a, and a lot of regret, but you're working out, you're trying to get oxygen into your body. And when you're wearing a mask, it's inhibiting your body to breathe, okay? You can't breathe properly. So I don't, I, they, they gotta come up with a better, some kind of better device for people to work out. It's gotta be a more breathable mask because I don't think you can get enough air in. You know, I don't think that's probably healthy to work out with a, in an oxygen you know, deprived state. So once again, I, I don't know what the answer to that is. I would, I would you know, certainly, bring a change of clothes with you and when you're done training go into that locker room wash your hands wash your face change your clothes and leave or probably a better idea would be to, to wash your hands and face get out of there and then in the parking lot change your clothes before you get into your car put the old clothes in a gym bag zip it up and throw it in your trunk and then and that's probably a better way to do it than go into the gym in full you know uh, you know, you watch these movies like Contagion and all these crazy, <laughs> they're all these, these big suits, you know. <laughs> I don't think you can protect yourself that way. And I, I don't think it's, I think at some point being exposed to some germs is, is necessary to stimulate the immune system to keep it on par. Remember, the immune system doesn't have a stimulus to make it work harder. It, it kind of downregulates itself. And then you do get exposed to germs. Okay, we all go back outside and get expose ourselves to each other. And now all of a sudden everyone's getting sick. Even if you get COVID, you're just getting sick in general because your body's immune system is, is down and suppressed because you, we're so antiseptic now. We're cleaning counters. There's, there's no germs anywhere. So the germs are necessary to sensitize your body, just like the good, the good bacteria in your colon are necessary to populate the internal you know, environment there to, to protect it. So we need some exposure to germs. Obviously, we don't want to take unnecessary risks, you know, especially initially when we get back into the gym scenario, but I don't know if I would go too crazy.